Hello here at Dylan's Homes for Us Bar, and today I'm going to be showing you how to properly freeze your coffee beans. So I am going on vacation, and I had a wonderful roaster, wonderful roaster, send me some coffee. Actually, he hand delivered it. So Brent, I appreciate you from Good Brothers. If you haven't got the coffee, go get the coffee. It's so good. Okay, but unfortunately, he gave me four bags. I'm not going to be able to drink four bags, nor do I have room with all the other coffee stuff that I'm bringing for four bags of coffee. So I'm going to bring two. Two bags. Two bags. But I'm going to leave two behind. But I'm not just leaving these behind because they're still going to be stored properly. So I'm going to show you how to properly store your coffee in the freezer. And no, please don't just throw this in the freezer. I'm going to show you how. Now come a little closer. I'm going to show you what you need. So here, I will link all these down in the description below. I have a food saver. This is definitely 100% necessary. Now they make a lot of brands. I just so happen to have the food saver. It also has a pretty nice accessory port if you want to uh, seal like some kind of like canned goods. And you also need some kind of bag that you're going to seal the coffee in. So this bag, I have one in here. It is a two pack of Ever One eight inch by 50 inch vacuum sealer roll. Uh, I will post all this in the link down in the description when I get done with the video. So please uh, stay tuned to watch the video. So first thing we're gonna do, it's about a 12 ounce bag. So you just kind of have to guess. You don't want to guess too much. But you also want to guess too little because obviously the length uh, is what you want the coffee to be into. So I normally like to come about body width apart here. And then I kind of just like to cut uh, right there. And if it's too small, it's okay. You just have to obviously cut another one and do it that way. Try to get as accurate of a straight across as possible. And what you're gonna do is, this little strip right here is actually what seals the coffee. Let me turn this light on, make it a little easier. All right, that didn't help much, but okay. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm just actually gonna hold this up like so. And as long as I know it's on the strip, it's gonna be fine. So I'm gonna do this, clamp both sides, and I am going to just seal it. So you're gonna see that this button is going to, uh, this light is gonna illuminate and go on and off. Once that button or that light goes off, then it completely seals the bag at the bottom. So make sure you seal the bag at the bottom because obviously you're gonna have two open sides. And if you don't, you're gonna have coffee everywhere. All right, so the sealing is done, doesn't take long. Pop the two little clickers on the sides, both sides have one, and you're going to notice a really nice seal along the bag. So now, just so you can test it, my hand doesn't go through, so the coffee won't either. All right, so first things first, obviously what I like to do is that there's, a, there's like a, a textured side and also a smooth side. So I'm going to take a Sharpie or some kind of pen. Just gonna use regular pen. And I like to know what coffee I'm storing in here. So I'm just gonna write Ethiopia. Doesn't have to be great handwriting. Gedeb. It was roasted. I'll just put roasted. June 23rd, 22. And then I'm just gonna put, it's a natural over here. And then I'm also gonna say the notes. So the notes are strawberry. Lemon and floral. Lemon. Floral. And floral. And there we go. So it's properly done. Next step, just undo the bag. Open it up. Always gotta Do the smell test because it just smells absolutely amazing nothing better than freshly roasted coffee about two days off roast three days off roast you know and then you're going to watch the magic happen and dump it into the bag you don't want to leave any spare beans behind they won't thank you later and then you want to pinch the sides here like so and obviously there is quite a bit of room in the bag which is okay Next one you can just cut smaller, but like I said, it's not too, too bad. So you wanna make sure 
that when you do it, the open end goes into this green little tray and then the rest of the bag can just sit over top like that. If the open part is not in this green tray, it will not vacuum it very well or at all. So you wanna make sure you just in there and you're gonna come here and press vacuum. So now watch, I'll press this and now watch the bag. Super satisfying. I mean, it's extremely hard right now already. So now show them here. Once it's done vacuuming, it'll automatically go to the seal. It'll illuminate and blink like it did the last time. And then both lights will then shut off and you have your properly sealed bag of coffee. And all that's left to do is to take this bag once it is completely done. So if you take a look at these lights, they're both off, pop the sides, open it up. And you have a bag of coffee that is completely sealed and ready to be stored for quite a bit of time. My recommendation is if you are storing coffee in your freezer in a bag like this, um, always take it out of the freezer, put it on your countertop to thaw out. They don't really need to thaw out, but I find the best results of taking them out of the freezer and leave, leaving them on the counter for a day. Uh, they work a lot. It works a lot better because from my experience, even if it's freshly roasted and you stick it in the freezer, it obviously, it, it, um, it stops the gassing or the degassing process of the coffee beans, which in turn keeps your coffee fresh longer. Um, so I like to just keep it on the counter, brew it the next day after taking it out of the freezer. What I found that if you take it straight out of the freezer, it is good like the RDT because you know it starts to thaw out and then it gets a little bit uh, of condensation, some moisture on the bean. No static at all, but the shot is extremely uh, like foamy and there's just a lot of crema and the crema obviously gives you more of that bitter tasting notes. So that's just a, a suggestion that I have when freezing coffee, but other than that, leave them outside or on the counter for a day, drink it, and you're not even gonna be able to tell the difference and boom. Got your freshly roasted coffee in a bag, ready to go for whenever you need it. You can thank me later. Again, my name is Dylan with Dylan's Home Espresso Bar, and that is how you properly store your coffee beans, baby. Let's get it. Stay caffeinated. Woo! Peace!